Hey there, baseball fans. It's Ben, and I'm back here. I'm looking through this 3,500 count box of so-called baseball commons that I bought from a collection not too long ago. It's proven to be anything but common, though, with tons of stars, Hall of Famers, and a bunch of vintage cards, too. Um, just been very surprised, pleasantly surprised, with what has shown up in this collection. So I'm going to take you guys along for the rest of the journey here, and I hope you enjoy. Plenty of junk wax, though, so don't get your hopes too high on this. 82 tops. Bobby Vons. This is Dave Winfield, 82 tops, and this one's in good shape. I like that. That's nice. That's a nice pickup. Reggie Jackson, 82 tops all-star. Johnny Bench in action. Wait, wait, wait a minute. This is an 83 Fleer Cal Ripken. Second year card for him. What in the world is happening? Fergie Jenkins. Robin Young. It's an 84 Fleer. Joe Morgan. Not Commons at all. There's a Dwight Gooden. Just seeing if these were glossy. Sometimes they're, the glossy ones are worth a premium. There's a Ryan Sandberg, 88 Fleer. That'll go in my personal collection. So, so far, I've gotten a ton for my personal collection, too, which is not what I was expecting. That 83 Fleer Ripken. Wow. Just definitely a surprise on that one. Harold Baines. Gaylord Perry. He's a Hall of Famer. It's 83 Fleer, I don't see a whole lot of. I have a ton of this 82 Fleer. It feels like these were just freshly pulled out of packs and just thrown right in here. So I wonder if they were just pulling out 89 Fleer looking for the Griffey and, or the Randy Johnson or whatever and, and, and moving on. That'd be my guess. These are really sharp uh, 81 Fleer too. Like these are in great shape. Fresh out of packs probably. So who would they be looking for in 81? I don't even know. You're missing the... You're missing the Cal Ripken rookie by a year. Eighty nine tops. I don't know why that that eighty three Fleer of Cal Ripken is just sticking with me. It just I don't know. It caught me by surprise. It's not a card that I've ever held in my possession before either, which is always fun. We got a lot of 89 tops in this uh, box. There's another Cal Ripken. Which, you know, there are worse sets than 89 tops, that's for sure. Jack Morris. Cal Ripken again. Ozzie Smith. George Brett. Tom Glavin. Second year card for him. Now what is going on here? What is this? I'm sorry for that. Are Kellogg's 3D Superstars, 1981. Larry Boa and Flanagan, Mike Flanagan. Odd. Never seen those before. And we just have two of them sitting there amongst all these other 89 Tops cars. It's kind of strange. Very strange. Just 
making sure I'm not missing any Topps Tiffany cards or anything like that. No Brock. Andre Dawson. It's one of the few times when he's actually smiling on his baseball card. Dave Winfield. Fred Lynn. Another Rube Rock. A couple more. Ricky Henderson. So I'm well past the point of thinking this is a box of commons. Um, still surprised that every time I pull something out of here that's not a common because it really was just labeled and supposed to be a box of commons. That's what the expectation was. So just awesome. I'm going to hit on something like this. Dale Murphy. The guy I bought this from, we had a long conversation about how Dale Murphy was done wrong. There's Daryl Strawberry. His numbers were dwarfed by the folks in the uh, juiced ball era. There's Tony Gwynn, MVP. But he was just a consistent power hitter in the in more of a dead ball era in the early 80s. There's Tim Raines. And just, you know, he should be on the, in the Hall of Fame for sure, as far as I'm concerned. And just a good guy, too, a good ambassador for baseball. There's Kirby Puckett, MVP. There's a Reggie Jackson, 1986 tops. Nice and kind of out of place where it was. More 88 Donruss. Certainly could do with less of this in my life. But you never know where you're going to find the diamond in the rough. There's another Tony Gwynn. Dave Winfield, Cal Ripken. Thank goodness. Try to get better lighting here. Keep casting shadows over the names. Tom Glavin, rookie card. There you go. Here's a good one. There are a lot of those Tom Glavin rookie cards that exist. Um, from all manufacturers that year in 1988. All right, 82 tops Rod Carew. Kind of randomly in there amongst 88s. Look at that. Another Tom Glavin rookie. Almost missed it. All right, we got some tops big here, which between you and me, I cannot stand. Right, there's a George Brett. These are actually in good shape, though. Usually you get them in there in rough shape. Tony Gwynn, Dale Murphy, because they're so hard to, they don't fit anywhere, so they end up getting wrecked a lot of times. Looks like this is a mix between 88 and 89. when it starts to get different colors and you never know what's going to be in there. So there's a Ken Griffey 1982 Donruss. 87 Donruss. Oh, Pete Rose 1982 Donruss. 
Well, as well as Nazi Smith. Look at that. That's a good card. Here's Mike Schmidt and Pete Rose. Gaylord Perry. Joe Morgan. Joe Morgan. Steve Bedrosian rookie there. Reggie Jackson and Dave Winfield. Wow. Steve Carlton. Another Reggie Jackson, Dave Winfield. Steve Carlton. Purina. I love those oddball sets too, so uh, I definitely picked up a few of those in this collection buy, so I'm super excited to go through those. We have the Necro Brothers. So we've got some more Purina or something in here. Some more oddball sets after these 88 tops. Oh, these are Opeachy. Yeah, look at these. These are There's Gary Carter Opeachy. Bobby Bonilla. There's an Nolan Ryan record like breaker, record breaker. I was hoping it was gonna be Opeachy. Of course, Opeachy is the version of tops they printed for Canada. Here's Jim Rice, because they had the, the uh, French-Canadian um, translations on them. Here's an Andre Dawson, Purina, and a Rod Carew Purina. What year is this? 84, 1984. Steve Garvey, Bruce Suter, Robin Young, Mike Schmidt, Quisenberry, Guidry, and L. Oh, Ozzy Smith. It's cool Purina cards. Nice oddball set. Looks like most of these are going to be... 88 tops with, oh, oh, these are more Opeachy. So there's Dave Winfield, Opeachy. John Sutton. Carlson Fisk. Dave Parker. Tim Raines. I wonder if in Canada they have just a lot more OPG than they do tops floating around. There's Rod Carew, Drake's Cakes, 1983 or 84. 84, Drake's Cakes, Gary Carter, Steve Carlton. I just could not be happier with what's in this box. <laughs> I'm telling you, Alan Trammell. 81 tops. There's a great Braves leaders lineup there. That's fun. Ozzy Smith. Just one more handful here and we'll call it a day. Andre Dawson, For Tony Gwynn All-Star from 87 Tops, Ozzy Smith, 88 Tops, and what are we going to find in this random handful? We got it. Oh, we've got the Gary Pettis with his little brother. I love that card. I'm going to put that one aside. That's his... Uh, when they were shooting the, the pictures there, his little brother, Gary Pettis' 14-year-old brother, was uh, in uniform, visiting him, and they had him take the picture instead. Uh, just hilarious. And so they put it on the card. There's a Grover Alexander. So I love that card. Well, look at this 81 Donner. So this is the first year. I don't, I don't come across a lot of these. That's fun. And there weren't that many in here. 85 tops. Tug McGraw. And 
George Foster. Dave Wingfield, Drake Cakes, Gary Carter, Drake Cakes, Louis Wilson, 83 Tops, Dan Quisenberry, and that'll do it. Another great session with this random collection. Hope you guys stick with me for this final uh, row here, the conclusion of this little uh, box here. I'll see you then.